Yo, what is going on guys? It is Chris on the Sticks and I am back with another YouTube commentary. Now I haven't done a actual gameplay commentary in a while and it's not actually going to be commentary on the gameplay. The gameplay is just going to be in the background. But I wanted to use this video to kind of do like a channel update and an update on things that I plan on doing. Things I'm currently doing and things like that. So the first thing that I kind of wanted to talk about um it's kind of going back to one of my other videos that i posted so about a month ago or so i posted a review sort of a comparison of the scuff vantage and scuff impact and while i was doing the review i was noticing some of the issues that were occurring with the scuff vantage and as a result i was because i was already recording the video and i already had the video recorded i had to sort of update in the uh, in the description of the video, like some of the issues that I was having with the Vantage and some of the known issues that were going on, and basically saying that I couldn't recommend the controller at that point in time um, until Yo know, Scuff decided to do something about the issue. Well, unless you've been living under a rock, Scuff apparently has done something with the issues with the Scuff Vantage. Um, they released a firmware update 0.8 for the Scuff Vantage, and that was um, that was for the controllers. Apparently, there was like a limited shipment of controllers that had that issue. Um, so, what ended up happening is that you either could download an update for it, or you could send your controller back unless you didn't have. If you didn't have a PC that was a Windows 10 PC, um, the update only works for Windows 10 PCs. However, when they announced this, the uh, the download wasn't even available. So my impatient self decided, you know, I don't know when Scuff's actually going to have their firmware update available for download. So I was like, okay, I'll just send the controller in and they'll probably get it back to me by the time or before they end up actually releasing the software. Well, because I'm an idiot, apparently they actually released the software, I think like four days after I sent my controller in or before, like, so my controller got in, I'm guessing it was, it was either earlier this week or it was last week, I believe. Um, but I can't remember when exactly I sent the controller in and it got in probably like early or late last week and then early this week or so they released the actual software. I can't remember actually, but it kind of, I was just I was just thinking to myself, I cannot believe that they actually got this software out in this short amount of time, which is surprising because it took them a while to even sort of address the issues that they were having and then after that it took them even a little bit longer i think it took about a month for them to announce that they had their software available which is uh at least they at least they got it out in a shorter amount of time i thought we were going to be waiting a lot longer to get that software update available for us but it's out it's available if you still have a scuff vantage that has the issues with like dead zoning or like a slightly larger dead zone in your thumbsticks if you have problems with the wireless connectivity and uh, saving uh, your remapping things for your controller basically if you've had a lot of issues with your scuff vantage um, that software should address all of them if not should basically cover most of them that affect gameplay so that's the first thing. So I'm still waiting to get my Scuff Vantage back from Scuff. And on top of that, I'm still waiting for them to send out my customization options. So hopefully when I get my controller back, they'll just send it back with the customization options. I do know that they said, I asked them about the customization options and they sent those, and they said those were gonna be sent out before their next shipment of Vantage controllers. So I'm guessing within like, the next week or so because it's about that's about the time that they were that they said that the customization options were going to be out so hopefully i get that because 
If you guys didn't know, I ordered a pink faceplate for my controller, and I actually really wanted it just because it was fun, and I just wanted to have a different controller than what I was used to. Um, so that's that. So I'm waiting to get my Scuff Vantage back. In the meantime, I still was using my uh, Scuff Impact, uh, which in my video I sort of concluded that I kind of preferred the Scuff Impact a little bit more to the Scuff Vantage. Um, I will say that once I get the Scuff uh, Vantage back, I'm going to be revisiting that whole comparison because I think there were a few things that I've neglected to mention about the Scuff Vantage, or not the Scuff Vantage, the Scuff Impact. By the way, in that video, I think I've said, like, I think I've called the Scuff Vantage the Impact and vice versa, like, so many times. It is really hard for me to differentiate the two because they're both Scuff controllers. They're both PlayStation 4 Scuff controllers, and they basically have almost identical features to the two. So it's, like, it's really hard for me not to mix those two up. But, um, I've been, I've been kind of raging at my Scuff Impact, mainly because I've had it for about a year now, so it's starting to show its age, and I think I'm going to try and cover that in my sort of update video that I'm going to be doing uh, in the future whenever I get my uh, Scuff Vantage back. So I'm going to be talking about that. The other thing, which is, uh... Something that I haven't mentioned because it's something that I just recently got is I'm going to be doing another comparison. I'm sort of like I think this is probably going to be the last controller comparison that I do, but I've gotten I've gotten a new controller. I'm not going to say what it was or uh, who made the controller, but it's basically a new type of uh, a pro controller for the PS4. So if you can figure that out, you could probably do some deductive reasoning of like what controller that I'm using now um, but I'm going to be testing this out for about a month before I do my sort of review and then that's gonna be a review on its own and then I'm gonna do my video comparing the three controllers the scuff impact the vantage and this controller and sort of talking about like what I prefer what controller I prefer, like sort of features that I prefer, and sort of just talking about my overall opinions on the way that Sony has been going about getting pro controllers for their system. Um, so that's going to be an interesting video that I plan on doing in the future. The other thing that's not related to like doing product reviews or anything like that, um, on my Twitch channel, I've been streaming a lot of... Uh, you know, Des I primarily stream Destiny 2, but I've been getting back into doing Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm pretty much a Kingdom Hearts fan, and that's like the main game that I've been playing way before I started getting into first-person shooters, mainly with Call of Duty, but um, I'm doing a level 1 playthrough. I did a level 1 playthrough. Uh, I posted my final boss uh, defeat on YouTube a while ago. That took forever to beat the last boss, but uh, I am going to be learning the speed run for level 1 critical for uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So I'm going to be doing that, and then uh, over the next month or so, I'll probably be streaming like the practice runs that I do and things like that. So that'll be on my Twitch channel, and then after that like Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out in like the end of January so once I play through that I'm gonna be basically just no life in that game and that's also gonna be on there so I'm gonna be doing more of a mix of uh, Kingdom Hearts along with like the Destiny 2 and maybe I'll get back into Black Ops 4 and do some more games with that but those are the things that I'm going to be uh, getting into in the next uh, few months so if you guys are down for that, definitely stick around. I'll be trying to post more of that on my YouTube channel. And then my Twitch should be in the description. So if you guys want to see me live, I'll be there. But that's going to do it for this video. It was uh, pretty lengthy. But if you guys stuck around for the entirety of the video, I appreciate it. Uh, feel free to leave a like and comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see. But as always, this is Chris. 
and I'll see you later.